Yes. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. Great to have you checking in today. Happy to have you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, just so you know, let me clue you in real quick. We do daily videos here on everything altcoin, everything cryptocurrency. And uh, let's be real here for a second. There's a lot of mediocre cryptocurrency channels on YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of good ones too, but there's hundreds of mediocre ones. And I really think Altcoin Daily, it's one of the good ones. Hey, I, I try and make it one of the great ones, but uh, I think we, uh, you know, I take pride in the fact we do, uh, we provide quality, relevant videos every single day. And uh, especially they're easy to understand, they're straightforward, uh, they're targeted towards, uh, you know, just regular people, just like you and me. So if that seems like something you'd be interested in, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's get into it. Let's do this, huh? Today, what I want to talk to everybody about is a cryptocurrency called Decentraland. Uh, right now, they're sitting at uh, just over 100 on CoinMarketCap.com. They're at 113. And before we even get into all of this, let me just start off by uh, throwing out a few concepts. And if you um, gravitate, if you like any of these concepts, uh, then you probably like Decentraland. So let me just throw out a few uh, phrases and let me know if you like it. Let me know if you like any of these in the comments. Um, so, uh, crypto gaming, virtual reality, uh, world building, owning land in a world that is secured on a blockchain, building on your land and monetizing it. That's pretty interesting to me. Uh, here, uh, think about it. I have a couple of videos I want to show you actually, but uh, before we get into that, think about it this way. Uh, you, are you guys familiar with games like Skyrim? Uh, World of Warcraft, RuneScape. I'm, I'm talking about like multiplayer online virtual worlds. Uh, maybe you play them, maybe you've heard about them, but if you play them, have you ever like been playing these games and thought, huh, you know, it'd be pretty great if I could buy a specific plot of land in these games, uh, if I could own it, and then it'd be really cool if I could uh, build whatever I want on my plot of land and maybe even monetize it. That's pretty interesting. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's watch this video. What if you could own the virtual world? Create, develop, and trade without limits. Make genuine connections and earn real money. Decentraland, a fully immersive platform powered by the blockchain. Buy land. Design your experience transform the way people see the world. Purchase the first ever virtual real estate. Get started today. All right. That's pretty exciting. I like that. I'm going to like this video. I want to support these guys. And now let's get into what is Decentraland. I mean, let's get into the nitty gritty. Uh, so Decentraland is the first virtual platform owned by its users. Uh, you grab a VR set or use your web browser and become completely immersed in a 3D interactive world. Um, now, there are plenty of opportunities to explore or even create your own piece of the universe. Uh, at Decentraland, you can purchase land through the Ethereum blockchain, uh, creating an immutable record of ownership. That's important. The blockchain is necessary to create an immutable record of ownership, uh, and no one can limit what you build. With full control of your land, you can create unique experiences unlike anything in existence. Your imagination is the only limit. Go to a casino, watch live music, attend a workshop. With friends, start a business, test drive a car, visit an underwater resort, and much, much more, all within a 3D, uh, 360 degree virtual world. Very interesting. So like I said, uh, Decentraland, it's going to be a uh, similar thing to like a Skyrim, a Second Life, a RuneScape, a World of Warcraft. It's uh, it's basically like an alternative life game, um, but it's an all immersive virtual universe. So I mean, this kind of seems like the logical next step uh, before we get to like a full AI West World type type thing. Uh, let's uh, let's check out this other video. You'll get even even a stronger sense of what we're talking about. Decentraland is an open source initiative to build a virtual world. In Decentraland, you can trade, develop, and monetize parcels of land. Get your land and build anything from 3D scenes to immersive applications. 
A blockchain ledger keeps track of who owns what. Inside your land, you can get to call the shots. No middlemen involved. Decentraland operates with its own currency, called mana, which can be used to purchase land and make in-game purchases. Decentraland provides a platform for you to create and monetize your games, artistic experience, or social applications. Decentraland. Your land, your rules. See you there. All right. Very interesting. I'm going to like this video because once again, I provided me with a lot build of value. Anything for Let's 3D talk scene. about what we just saw in here. And by the way, if you if you guys find value in my video today, if you guys like me bringing this kind of stuff to your attention, please like the video. It helps me grow as a channel. But let's talk about what exactly is the land that you're buying. Like, what are you actually owning? Uh, well, in Decentraland, the the spaces that you interact with, they're called land. And uh, they're non-fungible digital assets that you purchase in the game. Uh, now, once you own a plot of land, you're free to do with it, you know, however you choose, whatever you want. You can create games, applications, gambling services, uh, dynamic 3D scenes. But hey, why stop there? This isn't its primary purpose, but you can also create like land-based services. You can do like education, professional development, tourism, whatever you want. Uh, so the question is, and this is like, you know, this is kind of, let me give you an even greater sense. The question is, can I purchase land right now? Yes. Yes, you can. I have one final video uh, to show you guys before we really get into, uh, you know, I'll show you the roadmap, then I'll really give you my opinion on the company. But um, if you wanted to, um, they just got out of their beta testing. I mean, they're still kind of in their beta testing, but they just launched that at the very end of last year. So they've only been like, you've only been able to do this for like a few months. Um, but they actually have a video on their uh, YouTube channel uh, that gives you a tutorial of the marketplace. I mean, we could go to the site ourselves and check it out, but these guys are actually pretty straightforward. I want you to see this. Um, so if you wanted to purchase some land, you could actually go to market.decentraland.org. Uh, but this video tutorial, we're going to watch less than a minute of it, but um, it's going to show you how easy it is. It's easy to uh, browse, buy, and then sell your land. And so we're picking up into this video right after this guy logged in, uh, and you click I agree, and then this is what you'd see. Let's click I agree. You'll immediately be brought to the Atlas view of the marketplace, providing a bird's eye view of Genesis City. You'll see that the map is organized into a grid with different colored squares. All of these squares are the 10 meter by 10 meter parcels of land that make up Genesis City. Each parcel is color coded according to its status. For a summary of what each color means, click color key. You can use the Atlas to visually browse for parcels that are for sale by clicking and dragging the map. You can also zoom in and out to change your perspective. In order to view your land or to buy and sell parcels, you'll have to sign into your wallet. You can either use MetaMask, Mist, Yes, uh, check out the full video yourself. I just wanted to show you basically what you can, what you'd be able to see right now if you went on their site. I'm gonna like this video. I feel good liking um, YouTube videos when I want, you know, these guys to succeed. Um, but anyway, just to tell you a little bit more about uh, the land that you can buy, uh, the number of land is capped, and each plot of land is a finite size. Uh, but there's no limit to how high you can build on your land. Uh, so as the world gets developed. Similar groupings of land are going to compromise uh, like different districts uh, or sorry, going to comprise different districts. Uh, districts are basically uh, communities that revolve around a shared theme. For example, there might be a district with like, uh, you know, crypto enthusiasts are all over here and they uh, uh, are sell crypto apps and services. Or maybe there'd be like a community of altcoin daily people where we uh, learn about cryptocurrency together. And you guys are making your own decisions, but maybe we make some money in the process. Who knows? Let's check out the roadmap, and then we'll talk about all this information on coinmarketcap.com. Uh, so you can see they started in uh, June of 2015, and they went from the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, to the Mana period. Uh, we just got out of the Terraform event, which happened at the very end of last year. It was basically when they launched their beta. And the things we have to look forward to are the Iron Age and the Silicon Age. Uh, and so basically, as uh, we move forward, uh, they're just developing infrastructure. They're, you know, trying to put all this stuff, everything that you saw in these promo videos here, they're basically trying to make that stuff happen. Uh, so they're, they don't have a specific date, but they're going to be doing things like adding multiplayer support with avatars, live chat, uh, custom items and scripting, uh, and then later a full-fledged 3D world 
with full VR support and customization of the laws of physics live in the blockchain. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's a big fish to fry. Um, so we'll see, you know, that's the, that's the thing. If you wanted to invest, uh, you know, you, it could maybe big rewards in the future, possibly if they can complete their roadmap, but it's up to you, obviously. Let me tell you about this stuff. So right now, Decentraland, it's sitting at 114 on coinmarketcap.com, um, trading at about 15 cents. Um, they have a total supply of about two and a half billion, uh, with a circulating supply of about one billion. It's kind of a lot, but uh, I suppose it's necessary for what they're trying to do. Um, and let's take a look at where they've been. So, you know, like I said, right now we're sitting at 15 cents, nowhere near its highest high. Its highest high was in January when everything was pumped around 26 cents. Um, and yeah, I actually think Decentraland, uh, I, I do have a portion of, of my uh, portfolio um, in Decentraland. Uh, if I were... Um, if I didn't, if I was looking to get into it right now, I mean, you guys know I'm not giving financial advice. Imagine this as if we're having a beer talking about cryptocurrency. But me personally, I wouldn't get involved at 15 cents. I think it could go a lot lower, especially in the coming year. People are going to forget about Decentraland and weak hands are going to sell and it's going to probably get lower. Um, I wouldn't even consider buying unless it got under 10 cents. Um, it'd be nice to get in around like five or six cents, uh, but we'll see. Um, and as an investor, say I had my heart set on getting in at eight cents and it never got to eight cents. Well, I guess that means I don't invest. I guess that means I missed the boat on Decentraland, but of course I had gotten low on other cryptocurrencies. So yeah, are you guys interested in uh, Decentraland? Uh, let me know in the comments. And just to conclude everything, uh, I think Decentraland, it's a unique project in a largely untested market. I think there is like a very you know, there's a popularity around alternative life games, uh, and that's a good sign. Uh, but it's hard to tell if the alternative life games are going to carry over to like 3D and blockchain space. If Decentraland gains adoption, then we may see an entirely new ecosystem of businesses and experiences, which would be pretty cool. So maybe you want to invest in mana. You know, if you had mana now and, it, you know, gained a lot of value in the future, maybe you'd have a lot of mana. Maybe you'd be a king in Decentraland. Uh, and if you saved up enough mana, I don't know, maybe get yourself a virtual girlfriend or a virtual dog. And then you'd have two friends. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, I think Decentraland is pretty cool. I look forward to seeing uh, seeing where they go. Uh, if you like Decentraland, he head over to Decentraland.org. Check them out. Uh, if you like the content in this video, give it a like. Or tell me what you think um, in the comments. Um, I'm always eager to hear whether you guys like the projects that I like. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.